Hi you guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and this is my very first YouTube video. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited to be doing this. You have no idea how much this means to me. If you're watching this, thank you for joining. This is so great. I can already feel the love and support from you because that's what I need right now. I kind of first of all just wanted to explain the name of my channel, Educating Shani. If you notice the ED in Educate is capitalized because that stands for eating disorder, which I suffer from, which is what these videos are going to be about. So this is kind of my way of reaching out for help um, or support because I've had an eating disorder, different eating disorders for 25 years now. Um, it's kind of all I know. I don't remember a time when I didn't have one. They started when I was five years old and I've never really known what it feels like to have a healthy relationship with food or my body doesn't even know how to digest food normally. Um, it's just all I've ever known and it's starting to catch up with me physically. Um, mentally it's been caught up with me for quite a few years, but physically it's um, I'm, I'm pretty lucky I got this far without more bad things happening, but in the last year or two alone, um, I've come very close to death a few times. It's, it's my hope that by making these videos, I can um, release some of the pain that I'm going through inside instead of turning to food. Um, I want this to be a healthier outlet for me to um, kind of let out to whoever wants to listen out there. Um, kind of what I'm going through, what I've been through in my life that has gotten me here. And hopefully by doing that, um, I can feel a little bit more free and I can feel a little bit more um, support from whoever is going to watch these videos um, because that's what I need right now. I need as many people as I can to rally around me because um, nothing else has ever worked to get me better. Um, I've tried everything and this is kind of my last effort and um, of what I feel would actually help me. The reason I chose to do these videos on YouTube was because um, a few months ago I went on Facebook and I decided to kind of just start talking openly about my eating disorder on Facebook just to kind of see what would happen, you know, kind of maybe I, I remember thinking maybe someone out there is struggling that will, you know, reach out to me if they see that, that I'm struggling and then maybe we can help each other or whatever. I didn't really think too much more than that would happen, but um, I was very surprised because when I went on Facebook and I started talking about my eating disorder and it was so difficult and it was so embarrassing, it's still very embarrassing, but it's my life and I need help and that's why I'm talking about it. But I went on Facebook and I started, you know, talking about different things that I'm going through with my eating disorder. I received so many emails from people, um, so many. I was not expecting it at all, at all. Um, I got a lot of emails from people. First of all, there were people that were saying, hey, you know, you're really brave for coming out and talking about it. I struggle with an eating disorder. Thank you for putting that out there. I don't feel so alone. Um, I feel like I'm not alone in this fight, so thank you for doing that. And that, of course, made me feel really, really good. Um, I also got people saying, hey, you know, I have a loved one who's struggling with an eating disorder. What can you tell me to, how can I help them? Tell me what I can say to them um, because they will not tell me what they need. Will you tell me what they need? And so I tried my best to do that and that also made me feel so, so great. And then I also got emails from a bunch of people that don't have anybody struggling or have struggled themselves. They just wanted to take the time to write me an email and say, hey, you're so brave for doing this. You know, we all have our problems and you are choosing to face this in a way that you know is going to help you and we're so proud of you for that. So every time I got a different email from somebody, it just, it just boosted my confidence and my desire to get better more, um, which is a desire that I have not had in many, many, many years. Um, I have given up many times in the past five years alone. Um, I should be dead right now, but I'm not. And when I received those emails, and if you're one of those people who emailed me and encouraged me on Facebook to do this, I am so appreciative of you. You have no idea what that did for me. Um, so thank you. I really appreciate you reaching out to me and um, giving me all of this love and support. So thank you for that.
So yeah, so I kind of want this to be my outlet or kind of my therapy. Um, therapy works really well for me, but we can't afford that anymore, so I'm gonna let this be my therapy. <laughs> And if you have any feedback for me, you are welcome to give it to me and I will take it as I get it. But yeah, I want this to be a healthier outlet for me and sort of a therapy in a way. Yeah. Another reason I'm doing this is because um, I want other people out there who are struggling with an eating disorder to feel like that they're not alone. I want you to be able to come and watch my videos every single week and watch um, me as I tackle these problems that I've had for so long and maybe in some way it will help you do the same. Maybe if you can see that it's actually possible to get better by tackling the hard things that maybe you can do it as well and maybe it'll give you the courage to reach out and do what you need to do to get yourself better. Um, please don't be mad at me. If you do have an eating disorder and you're watching this, please don't be mad. I'm going to be giving up a lot of our secrets. Um, because those secrets are what are keeping us ill and our families love us and care about us and they don't want to lose us and they deserve to know what they can do to help us and so the only way that they can do that is by hearing what the truth is and hearing what we really really need to hear even if um, it's hard for us to tell them that that's what we want to hear that I'm gonna make it my job to be that person and to tell them that really what we need to hear from you is this or this or this um, and so please don't be mad at me for that but I just feel like that it's the only thing that can free us from our eating disorders is, is if we really start facing um, what the truth is so and that's just one way of doing that so if you're watching this and you're struggling keep up with me every week join me in this journey help me go through this rocky I'm sure will be rocky road to getting finally better and let's all get better together we can make it like a getting better party, slumber party thing on the internet, on YouTube, like a YouTube slumber party. Okay, that was dumb. And so the third reason that I'm doing this is because I just want to get people talking about it in general a little bit more than it already is being talked about. It is talked about quite a bit. It is. I mean, the world has gotten a lot better at kind of addressing these things. You're hearing more and more about it on the news. and. Um, different things like that but I still feel like it needs to be talked about even more and I feel like it needs to be talked about in a less shameful way because um, we as eating disordered minds feel shame about it because it's not talked about so it's not like we're feeling like oh the world thinks we're bad they're shaming us because we're bad because we have an eating disorder it's more like the world doesn't talk about it so it must be shameful so then we put that shame on ourselves um, so I hope I explained that in a good way, but if we can get people talking about it like it's any other illness, which is what it is, then that would be great, you know? I mean, you go to the doctor when you have a cold, you go to the doctor and you say, hey, I have a cold, can you give me an antibiotic? Sure, here you go. I want people to feel safe and feel comfortable and feel confident enough to go to the doctor and say, hey, I have an eating disorder, what can you do to help me? Can you give me some anxiety medication? Can you set me up with a therapist? What can you do to help me? And I just want it to feel safe enough to do that. And the only way that I've figured to do that is by talking about it more and by educating all of ourselves on really what eating disorders are and really the dangers of them and really where they come from um, and really that that, it, that it's possible to, to attack these demons that are inside of us that are so scary that we latch onto when we're feeling scared. And when we feel alone, we, we latch onto our eating disorder. The bulimia part of my eating disorder started when I was 13. Um, and I was thinking the other day, if someone had told me back when I was 13 what I would be getting myself into and what this eating disorder would actually do to my body, I know that I would not have started it. Um, but the only reason, one of the reasons I did start the bulimia part was because I knew it was bad for me. Um, I knew it wasn't talked about. I knew it was something that I could hide and kind of use it to abuse myself instead of dealing with my pain. Um, and that's really dangerous. So that's what this is. I want to tell young girls out there who are thinking of starting an eating disorder how not worth it it is and how it completely takes your life from you. And it destroys your relationships, it destroys your life, it destroys everything. And so if I can do, if I can even reach one person out there 
who's thinking about starting an eating disorder, then I've done my job. If I can just show one person out there the hell that happens when you go through an eating disorder because it is not fun at all. Yeah. So th those are kind of the three things, the three reasons that I'm doing this. Um, so basically what's going to happen is every Wednesday I will make a video, I will post a video about a different eating disorder topic. Um, it, it could be anything from triggers um, for an eating disorder or you know what, can, what you can say to help a loved one with an eating disorder or I'll just pick a different topic every week. And if I don't know a lot about it, I probably do because I've experienced every eating disorder. But if I don't, then I'm going to study it and teach you about it and we can learn about it together if you're interested. Also, every week I will be setting a different goal for myself that I will need to follow up on with you the next week. So um, that's another reason I'm doing this because it will keep me accountable um, to making these good steps to get me better. So I'll set a goal for myself every week um, and then the next week I'll give you kind of a progress report of how I did and how I'm doing and how my week went and things like that. So it would help me if I felt a little bit of pressure almost. Um, for me, that might be a good thing. That might be what I need. So yeah, so tomorrow, um, just a reminder, did I say this already? I don't even know if I said it already, but tomorrow I'm going to be posting um, a bonus video about my history, about my eating disorder history kind of what I've been through, my past, all of that kind of stuff. I would post it on this one, but I don't want it to be any longer than it already is. You're so awesome for watching this long already. Um, this was just supposed to be my introductionary, in introductory, introductionary, introductory? What is the word? Introductionary, introductory, introductory. This is my intro video to educating Shani. So anyway, I didn't want it to be too long. That was my point. What is the word? It's gonna hit me in a minute and I'm gonna feel so dumb. What is the word? I don't know. Thank you for watching today. I'm so glad that you were here and you watched this and if you're one of those people watching, you're probably one of the people who have been encouraging me to do this and who love me and support me and are so loving and understanding toward me no matter what I'm going through. I have so many great family and friends in my life and I bet if you're watching this you're one of those people so thank you. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your love and support and um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for my history video and you are beautiful people and you're worth it and I think I am too. So thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> that was dumb. Huh?